What's good, y'all? Welcome to another video. And what's up with all these players and coaches and staff in sports that have nothing to do with physical altercations or physical fighting? What's up with these people acting tough, man? Like, make it make sense. Like, let's talk about it. So if y'all don't know, recently what happened, Lakers going up against the Rockets, Ime Udoka gets uh, sent out, he gets ejected out of the game, he's going back and forth with Braun, it was his second technical, he got out of there. Come to find out, he talking to Braun, talking about, hey, yeah man, you a bitch, stop crying like a bitch. Braun woke up on him a little closer, like yo, respectfully, we men out here. Be careful how you use that word. Like, don't be using that so loosely. He said, well, what you gonna do about it? What you gonna do about it? Let me come in now with that, man. Let's talk about it. Okay. So we got the face of the NBA for the past two decades, basically, right? He comes to you and tells you, yo, relax. We still men out here. Be easy. And the coach gonna say, what you gonna do about it? What the fuck can he do about it? Realistically, my nigga, what the hell can he do about it? What, he, he's supposed to swing on you in front of thousands of fans at the arena and millions at home? He's supposed to swing on you? Then what? Oh, so then he gonna lose his sponsorships and then all his opportunities of being a face of the league and lose his track record of having a clean slate and all this. He supposed to just lose all of that shit just because you called him a bitch at one point and you told him what you gonna do about it? Like, come on, bro. Like, y'all gotta just stop. Y'all gotta stop acting like y'all was fighters. You feel me? We get on this channel and we talk about the fighters, the people who really are the gladiators going in these sports and saying, I'ma beat your ass. And they doing that. They proving that. Now you got people in other sports that have nothing to do with no physical shit like that. And they gonna ask you what you gonna do about it. You go back to like the Draymond Green shit now. <laughs> Mind you, he did stall on his, his teammate Jordan Poole in practice, but he didn't do that in front of a live audience. You feel me? But, you know, so there's going to always be people who going to talk shit. There's always going to be people who think they tough, right? But, bro, for you to be a coach of a team and say to the face of the league for the past two decades, what you going to do about me calling you a name? Like, what you going to do about it? And we live. Like, bro, that's just like you sitting in front of the cops and you be like, yeah, nigga, you a bitch. Nigga, shoot me, nigga. Shoot me right here. And this nigga in front of the police department. Like, who the fuck gonna do that? Who's gonna make a move in that certain situation and, and based on those requirements and the environment that you're in? Like, who who's gonna do that, bro? It's like, yo, like that to me, that's even more pussy than you backing away from a fight. That's almost equivalent to when, I know y'all know, when, when a dude out with his girl and he want to just act all tough. He want to act all macho just because he in front of his girl. He want to seem like he's somebody he not. Like, bro, that's not you. Relax. That's not you. You going to really mess around and get beat up in front of your girl acting tough just because you want to impress her, but that's really not who you is? It's the same situation with this. And again, who knows? Ima Udoka could be, quote unquote, tough behind closed doors. We never knew. We don't have a track record of him being tough or not necessarily not tough, right? But at the end of the day, why the hell are you going to ask a nigga what you going to do about it if you face to face with a nigga on live television? And it's the face of the lead that you're talking to about this. Like, come on, bro. Like, it makes no sense at all. So, I just think all that tough shit, like, it, there's, a, there's a barrier, there's a level, right? There's a level you can get to, and a level that shouldn't be crossed. Now, of course, yeah, niggas gonna call each other bitches, bitch ass, and whatever the case may be, that's gonna happen, that's never gonna change. But, beyond that, when you welcoming somebody to do something to you, and you're in a public setting where... If they even attempt to do something to you, the repercussions are going to be so vast and far in between that, like, it could be over at any second or it might not even get started because there's going to be so many people that's going to hop in and hold people back. If you're in a situation like that and you're trying to welcome somebody to fight, I just got to look at you like you pussy. I, I'm sorry. I just have to because 
Bro, you could have realistically, if it was really, really tension, you could have let that be what it was. You could have reached out to him. Later, had, had your people reach out to his people like, yo, I don't like what he did. I don't like how he moved. I don't fuck with him. Respectfully, that nigga have to stand on something. Let's meet up somewhere. Like, if you're not doing that shit, stop the bullshit, bro. Real shit. Stop it. If you're not setting up organized, basically, interactions or, or events where you can deal with somebody face-to-face -face that you got an issue with behind closed doors so it don't have nothing to do with social media, it don't have nothing to do with going viral, if that's not your objective is going viral where people see like, oh my gosh, he's tough or oh my gosh, he's not tough. If that's not the goal and the goal is you really got an issue with this person and you really feel like you could take this person like, yo, what's up? We can we can handle shit. If that's really how you feel, do this shit behind closed doors. Let's see what it's really about because you already know if you were in a setting like that, you know what's going to happen, bro. Niggas going to hold you back. Nobody gonna get a a a, a, or a swing off, or nobody gonna get a hit in. And even if you do get a hit in, it's gonna be a sloppy hit. It's not gonna be a clean hit because it's gonna be a whole bunch of people in the way, and it's gonna be a whole bunch of people yelling and trying to jump on a cord and try to say shit and stop shit. And then after that, now your job is at risk. His job is at risk. His reputation's at risk. His reputation's at risk. Now they got new laws and new rules and regulations coming in. You can't interact with a coach. You can't interact with nobody on the... Like, come on, bro. Like, who want to go through that shit, bro? If you got a problem, handle that shit behind closed doors. And personally, I don't believe Ime Udoko's that guy. I don't. And realistically, I don't think Bron is to, to a degree that guy as far as like, oh, I just want to fight a nigga. Like, I don't think that. But I do believe both of them would defend themselves if it did get physical. And if it honestly did get physical, I'm going to put my money on Braun. He's in better shape. This nigga's still active. You feel me? He's still in the gym doing what he need to do. Emo Duckle is not. He's smaller than him in every facet. So it's like, realistically, yeah, I'm going to put my money on him. But there's no way to tell because that shit ain't never going to happen. So why welcome this shit like you really bout it when you know none of that shit would ever happen? But that's just how I feel in this situation. Y'all let me know what y'all feel. If y'all like this video, make sure you share. Make sure you subscribe. And like that, I'm out of here.